Hey guys, for the extra Sunday content, as well as bonus weekly content on top of that, go to our Patreon link in the description and find the Black Kluge tier or higher and subscribe. Of a beautiful blonde, like that they took a picture of her going in and out of your house. So <laughs> Yeah, he can't get away from her. <laughs> yeah. She's chasing him. <laughs> so you like blondes. So this is all No, 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 no. Listen, let me tell you something. What? I like all types. Your MO is out. <laughs> I like all types. Well, I am seeing someone right now, but uh, the fact of the matter is it's just because she happens to be blonde doesn't mean I only would go with a blonde. Okay. You yeah, know what I mean. All right. This is what I find funny. I got to get right into it. He he's dating Beth, but and then, you know, all these years later, he's like, well, we've been together this long, but he's not mentioning her, mentioning her, mentioning her by name. And he's clearly trying to get with Lila. So it's not super serious right away. It's I'm shopping around. I'm still shopping. Well, right. Well, this this was also the time where, you know, I mean, Son of the Beach was going on. So he had to kind of hit that iron while it was hot. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I mean, he's he was one of the executive producers. So if he was going to do his version of the casting couch, <laughs> he had to do it now because there's no way that uh, Lila would see somebody that looks, you know, see that seven foot tall pelican and just be <laughs> instantly, you know, sexually attracted to him. I mean, no woman on earth is. So, no. <laughs> you know. Oh, and, and I want to say this for the record. She is much better looking than Franco Harris. Come on. <laughs> well, I'm just I'm just saying, like, he got the athleticism, but she got all the looks. Now, she might be a good uh, football player, too. Who knows? But um, <laughs> the thing is, though, that uh, I asked Bob earlier if we should do part of the video because she came in studio with her not manager, but like a, she was doing some calendar and promoting it. And uh, with this other uh, Hispanic chick and Howard's like desperately trying. He's swinging and swinging and missing, swinging and missing. And Bob said it really wasn't worth going into, except that, you know, it's, it's good for just a, a getting a good look at Lila at the time. Um, <clears throat> and I apologize for my voice, voice guys is still pretty weak. Um, but um, I'll, I'll get some compression like Wiggy and I'll sound real pimp as soon as I can. Sure. Just try. Just dye your hair blonde. Let's get going. That's all. <laughs> hey, on our phone right now, speaking yes. of dates, I don't even know if I should put her on the air. I'm so mad at her. Is this Lila? It's Lila from Son of the Beach. Are you speaking to her? You haven't talked to her? I haven't spoken to her. I've been so angry I don't want to speak to her. I think you're afraid. No, I'm not afraid. <laughs> afraid she'll tell something else. Yeah, I kind of don't even want to go near her. She's only one of my friends who's ever come over my apartment and then told everybody what goes on there. Well, are we just going to talk about her? Or All right, I'll put her on. Hello, Lila. Good morning. Don't mistake me. Put Look, you on the air for not being the charm here. Yeah, it's not going to work anymore. <laughs> we are officially not. We're not friends anymore. I don't even know what happened. What happened? You know, you went on a show and you, you talked about. What does she mean? She doesn't know what happened. Why is she on the phone? Yeah. I don't because the boys told me that you're mad at me, and so I'm. I'm not mad at you. Then you don't. Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. Well, what what happened? Because I. You know I, what happened. Robin's right. You know exactly what happened. But I know all the all the interviews that I do, Howard. I only say what's already been said on your show. No, you. But you. You, know, you, 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 you don't have to talk about the bedroom and the and the how you get into the apartment and the. I don't even want to. I don't even want to say. That's never been said on the show. Never been said. Never I, been I don't know. About. It just kind of was embarrassing. Oh, Not well, that I don't do that to other people, but I just don't want it done to me. <laughs> I love it. So there, she's going to go into great detail, guys, without, and I don't want to spoil it too much. But what's the main problem here, Bob? He just basically is, wants to, his privacy kept completely, uh, completely secret? I think, I think Howard is, is, was just an amateur with how he was trying to get on this terror. And he doesn't realize, like, dude, you can't mess with a chick like that. Like, you just can't be that reckless and 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 it bit him in the ass. And I, I and she, you know, it goes on to show she does kind of call him out. It's a total chin check. Like, I really, <laughs> I really think that he was creeping on her for a while. And I think that he maybe tried making promises to her. And, you know, she brings up her manager got involved with her going over there. Why the fuck would he be involved? 
what would he have to, you know, like, that's what I think this whole thing is. I think there's a lot of background and meta communication going on here. We're not getting the full picture. Yeah, and I believe that there's a good chunk of it being her trying to social climb using the the association to try to get herself as much play as she can right. uh, uh, professionally. Kerry, what's your th- thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, Wiggy should have consulted with the master and his former good buddy uh, Harvey Weinstein before he did, <laughs> you know, <laughs> decided yeah. to go down this route. But I agree with Bob. I think... You know, I I think there was some kind of quid pro quo sort of, you know, she probably told the manager and then the manager's like, well, maybe we can parlay this into something that I help you. And yeah, you know, but but I think it's it it was clear from from that interview and from, you know, when 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 she just eviscerated Wiggy, I know we're going to get into it, but you know, it's clear she just had no interest in him, you know, dating wise at all. No way. Yeah. No. I, I am so sorry. Oh, sorry, Bob. Um, I wanted to add something to what's funny with Howard is <clears throat> like, we all know what was going on here. The promises were maybe made. He was creeping on her. He has now he has stated multiple times he's into the casting couch fantasy. Oh, yeah. And even him and Beth filmed that when they filmed their porno, which I would never want to see ever. <laughs> but um, that was the that that was what they acted out. And they talked about it in that Katie Lee Joel. But it's like with Howard. He, he his his narcissism like he doesn't want to acknowledge what it is like he needs to believe that they were really on the date even though he knows that he used every other possible string attached just like telling your friends like or your friend if you come out tonight I'll pay for all the beer and like I want to believe that he just came out with me and I didn't have to bribe him because he likes me so much but he won't like he's incapable and we see it with Beth like yeah he has to believe that she loves him and he's the only motherfucker that believes that <laughs> that that she loves him you know like it can't just be like yeah dude you bought a younger wife we all right. know what you did <laughs> 